In this video, we're going to look at the exponential family, specifically the Laplace fan distribution within the exponential family of distributions. Now, in order for it to be a part of the exponential family, we have to assume that the mean mu is known. Now, this video is a follow-up video when we found the mean and the variance generically for an exponential family of distributions. In that video, we showed that if you could write the density or the probably mass function in this form, then it's considered a part of the exponential family of distributions. And so for the Laplace distributions, which we'll write it at like this. Now remember we're assuming that mu is known, so it's just a constant. And we want to transform this into the, this form, one of these forms here. Now this second form, of course, is called the canonical form and that'll help us when we're finding the mean and the variance of the sufficient statistics. So now we have to transform this. So here if we log it and then exponentiate it, then we get this. So if we, of course, if we take the 2b up, that's raised to the minus 1, and that minus will come out front. Now here we have the product of two exponentials, so we just add the exponents and this is what we get. Now I write this first and, I, and that second because now this is the, a function of the parameters times a function of the data minus a function of the parameters. So it, it fits into this form where h of you know, x is just 1. And so this, the Laplace distribution is a, uh, fam, a distribution in the family, the exponential family. Now the sufficient statistic is the absolute value of x minus mu and the log partition is log of 2b. Now to write this in the uh, canonical form we just have to assume we just call that eta. And then this is the times the sufficient statistic but we have to write this log partition in a, in a way that if we stick back in the value of eta, then we get our log partition, log of 2b, and this is the form. So now that we have the log partition, we can take derivatives of it and find the mean and the variance of our sufficient statistic. So here, the mean of our sufficient statistic, t of x, which is the absolute value of x minus mu, is the derivative of the log partition with respect to eta. Now we, on the previous page, we said the log partition was this, log of minus 2 over eta. And so to take the derivative, it's 1 over this times the derivative of this, which becomes this. You invert and multiply there, and we get 2 times uh, eta to the uh, minus 2. Now the 2's cancel, and we can combine these eta's into this, so it's minus eta to the minus 1. Now we stick in what we know about eta, and it was uh, minus 1 over b. So then this becomes just b, and that's the mean of our sufficient statistic. Now to find the variance of our sufficient statistic, so the variance of the absolute value of x minus mu is the second derivative of our log partition and which of course is this. Now we found that the first derivative up here which was this so we could stick that in and then just take the derivative of that and then that would be the second derivative. Well the derivative of this is this. Stick in what we know for eta which is minus 1 over b. Solve that and we get b squared. So that's the variance of our sufficient statistic. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I sure did. Like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.